said laying like this, everything. Everything fell asleep except for my head. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you can't come up here, Nate. <laughs> nice stuff, it's just... Welcome to Kansas. <laughs> Welcome to Kansas. We got the whole posse here. We got Mr. Miss, the gas master. No, he's gut shot. No, gut shot? Gut, gut, gut shot. shot. Gut shot? Yeah. Fester. Fester. Kind of a short name. Fester. There's a story behind The outlaw. <laughs> <laughs> and I am your host, the wanderer. <laughs> Are you going to set up where you're going to watch the back corner of this cornfield? I'm not sure. I was thinking about it going back. back. Okay, because based on that, I'm trying to decide if I want to set up like up here where I'm watching this side and that, or if I want to yeah, set up... It's tough because there's a few fingers that go back in there. I think you should set up where you can at least see the corn. I think your odds are... Well, you're gonna, you got corn on both sides of the river over there. Because right. you got corn on the neighbors, you got corn on this. All right, well, I'm not going to set up... I don't know. I'm like I'm watching any of this. Alright. That sounds good. Driving along the edge here trying to figure where to put my tree stand. That's a big old rub right there. Got a really big rub. It's way up that tree. Beautiful day here in eastern Kansas. Day number one, hunt number one. I'm gonna head back into this picked cornfield. There's two picked cornfields, and there's kind of a drainage ditch that runs between the two of them. I'm just gonna set up on the ground, and I'm gonna kinda stay down low in this drainage, and I'm gonna kinda pop back and forth between them, watching this, there's two freshly cut cornfields, and I think there's gonna be does, and probably some nice bucks coming out to this fresh cut cornfield. Apparently, I'm extremely close to hitting the top of the door, and then my boots made me just over. Well, you got those extensions in your boots so you can <laughs> see over the a little, little ball on the top of your baseball hat. Oh, those are nice, I yeah. I caught that and jammed it in the top of my head. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit kind of, you know where that big old tree is? Where the one Tyler that I shot? No. Oh, that. I'm just gonna kind of sit there until I have to take a crap. So You're not I'm, very far from me. I know. So when I get done, <laughs> when I, after I take a crap, then I'll go on up. And Perfect. That way it'll set down and it'll make all the deer. deer There's down. no deer over there. Okay, have fun, guys. Good luck. Shoot a booner. All right. Good luck. Shoot often. This is insane. I wasn't seeing much this morning, so I was like, I'll get up and drive around. Well, I've got four shooters spotted right now. There's five bucks total. There's gotta be a hot doe up in there. But they're gonna bed up up in there, I think. There's three. And there's four. down in there.
He's done. <laughs> These deer here are so stupid. Oh, they're so much fun to spot and stock like that. There's a big buck here on the hill with a hot doe, and then there's three or four bucks about that size. That's a satellite buck. But I'm not being picky. It's first. It's the first day. So if I can take one out, I'll video the rest of the trip. I don't care. So I just shot that buck at like 20 yards. Oh, that was so sweet. Yes. I don't know if I got any of that on the small camera, but man, that was cool. I snuck up this little draw right here, this little ditch just snuck up there real slow. He was bedded right there. The big buck is up on the hill over there. So I just grunted a couple times. I was breaking some sticks and I just snuck up the rest of the way up here, right here. Made just enough, enough noise to get him curious and he came right in. I had one stick in the way, but I think he just went down on top of the hill. So now I just gotta get a hold of Greg or Nate or one of the other guys. Cause there's a bunch more bucks up in here. There's a really big one with a hot doe up in here. So maybe I can video them going after it today. <laughs> yes. Whew, that was so sweet. Whew, that was so much fun. Oh, Something like that. But when I shot, my deer ran away from all the action. So there's no oh, way. Nice. There's no way that that spooked any. Was of your them deer like bedded? Uh, he was bedded for a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> it was so by, sweet. By the doe? No, no. He was a satellite buck, and yeah. he wasn't he wasn't actually even the biggest satellite buck. He so just, he's not a big one by any means. He was just like, oh, this is fun. He was in the right spot at the Something right time. Something smells, smells good. He was straight downwind, probably a hundred and something yards of the big buck and the doe. And then there was another. So there was like a 160, probably a 140. The buck I shot, like a 120. And then there was another buck about like the one I shot. And then there was one that was smaller. And I actually passed up one that probably scored just a little bit better than the one I shot, but the one I shot was bigger. He had nice main beams, but like no points really. So the buck I shot is actually an okay buck, he's just not a good scoring buck. I agree. I think these big bucks want these damn does out in this grass where no one's around them. Yep. And nothing's going to wind them for a country mile. So sweet to go up in there and be able to shoot like a 160. Oh, yeah, two, two yeah. dead. I don't know that I got mine. I didn't see any blood. Kenny's up. He's thinking around. Yeah, he's right behind the tree. We're on the hillside. The of the thing. Last I saw them, they were about to bed down. 
that tree looks like it's right on the fence, isn't it? Either no, it's not on the fence. It's 50, 60 yards on the fence. Yeah, I shot the buck right there. Oh, out <laughs> right off the road. Yeah, no, I was. I was 20 yards off the road. I shot the buck there, and I was standing 20 yards closer to the road. I actually parked. I stayed low right here, snuck all the way down along this edge, popped up over. There was two bucks there, and I basically just snuck up. And right. I got to about 40 yards, and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna make some noise so this buck knows I'm here. So I grabbed a stick, started beating it on the ground, making a bunch of ruckus. And next thing you know, he stood up and walked right over to me. These deer are so dumb. It's I awesome. know they are. It's so wonderful. <laughs> I like dumb deer. <laughs> so much fun. I asked for a deer tied up. You got a combine for me to run? <laughs> you both got one? Mm, he, uh, well, he shot one. We'll I shot see. one. We'll see if I find it. We just talked. He ran across yours and into Tim's pasture. We just oh. talked to Tim and. Yep. Well, we're gonna we're gonna let the guys finish their hunt and let him go out there and hopefully die and and uh, that way we can. Uh, There's another big one. There's a big one bedded out there on Tim's. So oh, I'm doubt, trying yeah. to talk Greg into going and shooting it. What's the problem? I was gonna go back and get the rifle. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> All the way to Michigan, or, or I'll loan you one. You promise not to get caught. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Greg's yeah. like, I need another combine driver. <laughs> yeah. Use my rifle. Yeah. <laughs> so, yep. Alrighty, sir. Well, we'll leave you to your misery. Yeah. I'm a little behind you because we're done book work this morning. I love oh. book work. I just Isn't that thrive the best? over it. <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll go shoot a big buck and then you'll have a combine driver and a grain cart driver. There you go. You'll be all set. <laughs> oh, there you go. You're not going to build a fence then. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Enough said. Enough said. I told these boys when I were driving out here, I go, you know, I'm pretty sure I could come up, get a pair of pliers and a hammer and come out here and be a fence builder and never run out of work. <laughs> I don't think I'd ever run out of work. Yeah, well, yeah I don't know what kind of a shot I made, really, so... You're gonna try to walk all that? You're gonna, that's what I'm saying. No, well, right now, right, he, we, right now there's a big one up in there that I didn't shoot that we're thinking about going and trying to shoot right now. Oh, okay. Well, it's still okay. morning. You're sincere about trying that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I thought maybe if we got down there and we could find blood where we could track it too, then that would be fine. Yeah. We'd track it, but. Right. I'm ready, sir. sit there and glass for a while, that won't be a bad thing. We can probably spot some of the satellite box too. That's gonna go to those trees and then sneak up to the levee. Yeah, I think so. I got Kuyu on. What does that mean? It means I can sneak up on anything and anywhere. <laughs> won't matter. Well, you look like an idiot, so you better feel good. That the big one is the furthest one that way. I don't see know. Him? No. I was just thinking if we use that to work our way around, there's a nice steep hill there. If you look up there, do you see how if you come in from that, you can see across this way to yeah. the right? We just did a huge loop. Now we're kind of coming in the backside up over the top. Let's see if we can get eyes on that buck. Uh-oh. That's not good. Mm -mm. I might have hit in front of the heart and everything. Your shoulder looks like you got maybe hit to the hair. That far good. Shoot. Well, that's cool. You stay like this one? Yeah, you this way. I'm gonna leave that there. Yeah. 
get about four inches of penetration. I don't know. We gotta go back and watch the shot. I'm not sure what happens. No. 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 Yeah, he's a nice boy. Do you, uh, this, this would just be all sorts of, uh, ammunition for me to pick on him about the whole thing. Yeah, it went. It went. Fuck. <laughs> Back over to where those yeah. Well, I don't think we're gonna find it. We've been looking for about four hours and we can't find a drop of blood. Looks like the arrow only went in about four inches. What I don't understand is that I, I'm pretty sure I've shot deer exactly in that area before. Obviously not. So what happened? You think? Where do you think I hit? I think you hit where you want. I think your shoulder just. Which just which hit. shoulder? First one must be. Yeah, his first one. I think he. I think he flinched when you shot, and just as the arrow went, he did this. You know, as he turned. He already took that last little step forward, and he had his left shoulder was far forward. When you can see, when it hits his, hit him, I thought it looked like the fletchings kind of kick sideways. Weird. Yeah, I thought so too. 